Are you tired of dealing with complex data formats while working with JavaScript? Look no further. In this comprehensive lesson, we'll explore how to efficiently convert CSV to array and read CSV files directly into JavaScript arrays. By mastering these techniques, you'll simplify data handling in your projects and save valuable time. Dive in and discover the secrets to handling CSV files like a pro. Your coding game is about to level up. If you find this video helpful, make sure to click the subscribe button below to stay updated on all my latest content. Before we start reading a CSV file, let's briefly discuss what CSV files and JavaScript arrays are. CSV files store data in a plain text format with values separated by commas and each line representing a record. JavaScript arrays are objects that can store multiple values within a single variable, making them an ideal data structure for working with the data from CSV files. Method 1, utilizing the split method for simple CSV to array conversion. The split method is a straightforward approach for converting simple CSV data into an array in JavaScript. This method works well when you have a CSV string and need to transform it into a usable array format. The split method is a built-in JavaScript function that divides a string into an array of substrings based on a specified delimiter. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the split method for CSV to array conversion. 1. Use the split method to divide the CSV string into an array of lines using the new line delimiter. 2. Loop through the resulting array of lines and use the split method again, this time with the comma delimiter, to separate each line into an array of values. Here's a code example demonstrating the process. In this example, we first split the CSV string into lines using split. Next, we use the map function to loop through each line, splitting it into an array of values using split. The result is a two-dimensional array containing the CSV data. Keep in mind that the split method is best suited for simple CSV data. If your CSV file contains special characters, escaped commas, or multi-line fields, you may need a more advanced solution. Continue watching to discover other methods for handling complex CSV data in JavaScript. Method 2. Implementing File Reader to read CSV files as arrays. File Reader is a powerful JavaScript API that enables you to read CSV files and convert them into arrays. It allows you to read files from the user's local file system and process them in the browser. File Reader is particularly useful when you need to read CSV files that are too large to be hard-coded as a string or when you want to enable user file uploads for processing. Follow these steps to implement File Reader for reading CSV files as arrays. 1. Create an HTML input element of type file to allow users to upload a CSV file. 2. Add an event listener to the input element to handle the file upload. 3. Use file reader to read the uploaded file as a text string. 4. Process the CSV text string by splitting it into an array of lines and values, similar to method 1. Here's a code example. In this example, we first create an HTML file input element and add an event listener to handle the file upload. Once a file is uploaded, File Reader reads the file as text. The File Reader's onload event is triggered, and we receive the file content as a text string. Similar to method 1, we split the CSV string into an array using the new line and comma delimiters. While this method works well for reading CSV files and converting them into arrays, it doesn't handle complex CSV data with special characters, escaped commas, or multi-line fields. In the next method, we'll explore a more robust approach for handling these types of CSV files. Method 3. Leveraging CSV Parse or Papa Parse Library for Advanced CSV Processing To handle more complex CSV files, consider using the CSV Parse or Papa Parse Libraries. These powerful libraries provide advanced CSV processing capabilities, handling edge cases and various CSV formats with ease. Before using these libraries, you'll need to follow their respective installation instructions. For CSV Parse, visit their GitHub repository or NPM page. For Papa Parse, check out their official website for installation guidance and comprehensive documentation. After installing the library of your choice, you can use its features for parsing CSV files into arrays or other desired formats. To learn more about how to use the CSV Parse library, check out our full article with detailed examples, which can be found in the resources description section below. Remember to follow best practices and consult the official documentation for each library to ensure proper usage and compatibility with your JavaScript projects. Here are some tips for working with CSV files in JavaScript projects. 1. Handle special characters and encoding. When working with CSV files, it's essential to consider special characters and different file encodings. Utilize libraries like Papa Parse or CSV Parse to handle various encodings, escape characters, and delimiters. 2. Validate and sanitize data. Before using the data from a CSV file, ensure that it is correctly formatted and validated. 
This step prevents potential issues and security vulnerabilities in your application. Libraries like validator.js can be helpful for data validation and sanitization. 3. Error Handling Implement proper error handling when working with CSV files, including file not found, incorrect data format, or unexpected end of file. It's crucial to handle these errors gracefully to avoid potential crashes in your application. 4. Performance Optimization When working with large CSV files, consider implementing optimizations such as streaming, asynchronous processing, or data chunking to avoid blocking the main thread and to improve performance. In summary, mastering the art of CSV handling in JavaScript is an essential skill for any developer. By learning how to convert CSV data into arrays and leverage various parsing techniques, you can streamline data processing tasks and enhance the functionality of your applications. As you continue to refine your JavaScript skills, don't forget to explore additional libraries and resources that cater to your specific needs. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep experimenting with the different methods and techniques outlined in this lesson to discover the best approach for your projects. As you grow more proficient in CSV management, you'll be able to tackle even more complex JavaScript challenges with ease.